Hi, this is Robin with Art and Gifts. And today I thought I would show you how I do a little craft. So this was a chocolate box. And uh, the chocolate didn't last very long, to tell you the truth. But I think these little cubbies are such a perfect way to store post earrings. Or earrings in general, if they're not too big. So what I would like to do, and then this could be a gift for somebody. You could even put a pair of earrings in here. But what we're going to do is take the cover, and you could do Valentine's is coming up, and there's heart-shaped ones, so you can do the same thing, the same process. It's just a different shape. So this is watercolor paper, and I'm just putting the box on top. And I already did it, but I just marked the side, the, the size of it and I'm gonna cut it out. It's actually a mixed media pad, sort of. Huh? But watercolor paper would work as well. Hard stock might work, but I know that the paint really works well on these two kinds of papers. I think it would work on card stock. Here's what you have. So what we want it to be it's maybe just a tiny bit smaller than this so I'm going to trim it down a little bit and if you have a paper cutter you could use that too and then what I will do is I'm going to paint this black I'm going to paint all of this black and then we will um, darken the edges here with black paint so then it'll all look very nice together so I'm just going to trim this just a tiny bit so it's not running over the edges. We want it just a tiny bit smaller. Just a tiny bit smaller. needs to be just a little bit shorter. And if we hear something like a doorbell, that's the alarm I have on my mother-in-law. Uh, if she's getting up and moving around, I'm going to have to run away <laughs> and go find her. So uh, if that happens, please forgive me and I'll retape this. Okay, so this is just about the right size. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint this black. And the edge is black. And I can use a, a larger paintbrush for that. You could use a foam brush. This is a one inch brush. It might take two coats. Looks like it's going on pretty well. And this is just craft paint. I get it at Walmart or Michaels or Joanne Fabrics. You can get it at all different kinds of places. And there's different brands. This Apple Barrel, Folk Art, Deco Art. You can use what you have or the Apple Barrel I think is the cheapest at 50 cents a bottle at Walmart. But most of the other paint is just a dollar or two. And then we're going to paint the sides. going on really nice. Pleasantly surprised. There we go. And we'll just put that aside to dry. Uh, 
and rinse your brush. Now we can paint or stencil something on here. You could, um, you could have a phrase in there. Uh, I found this stencil. It's got some hearts and some other designs. So we could do that down the middle. There's a big daisy. We could put a couple daisies on there. If it's for yourself, do what you like. If it's for somebody else, try to think of what they would like. Maybe we could do like a, a heart on the diagonal at the top and then a couple daisies. Let's do that. So we'll get some red and some pink. That way uh, they can use it more for longer periods of time, not just for Valentine's Day. So to stencil that in, and, and don't go right to the corner because we're going to put black all the way around the edge, maybe like a quarter inch or eighth of an inch. So leave a little room for that. So I've just got a little pouncer. If you don't have a pouncer, you could use a paintbrush. So you put a little paint and then you pounce it on something else so it doesn't have that much on there. And I'm using pink here. You could use red or a combination thereof. And put one there. Put one in this corner. And then maybe some daisiness. Daisies are usually white and this paper is white so I think I'll do um, more like a uh, black eyed Susan. So I'm going to get some yellow and brown. Because otherwise it wouldn't show up. this off a little bit. Let's see if we can get some of that pink off. If the pink mixes with the yellow, it's going to make just like a peachy color, so that'd be alright too. Yeah. Thank you. Try to put this here. So it doesn't cover up the heart. So it's going to look like that's behind the heart. There, good. You could make these purple. You can do the flowers any color you want. You know, depending on what color you're I would think you would keep a thing for jewelry in your bedroom on the dresser, but maybe you keep it in the bathroom where you're getting dressed. Wherever you're getting dressed or putting your jewelry on. So I'm going to come back and do the brown. You can have them overlapping. Do that here. I think we want three of them. I like oddness. I'm going to put a little piece of paper here on this heart again. Do that first.
I didn't tap this off first, so that's a little bit. There we go. And something like here. I could get a bunch of dots on this thing. We want to do something with that? No, I don't think so. We could put more hearts in. Now I think I'm going to do another flower. It might go right off the edge here. But I'm going to try to cover those up so it looks like it's behind. Maybe we'll, we will mix the pink in that. Make a little peachy color. Make it a little bit peachy. Trying to be careful. I want it to kind of look like it's behind. There. I'll just do some brown in the center. A little carried away with the brown. That's all right. Do we need some more hearts? What do you think? I think we do. Maybe I'll put a heart in each corner here too. If you have a little baggie to throw this little sponge thing off, then you can wash it off later because this has a very short stem and if I drop it, it's going to go to the bottom of the water dish. If you have, bring a little paper baggie with you, throw it in, then you can uh, keep it a little longer. All right, so let's do some black along the edges. Get this dryer. And if you think, well, well, that's not my cup of tea. I don't like that. Well, you use a different stencil. Or you could write something here if you have a favorite quote. Or your, if it's a gift, if they have a favorite quote. See, I'm just kind of doing this along the edges. That way it's going to blend with the box. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even. It can be little this way that way but I'm kind of putting the brush at a little bit of an angle so it's not getting this fully covered so much it looks more like it's older so you could do a little word that's meaningful to you or a, a friendship quote or or something that makes you smile if it's for yourself this could go either way and when it's dry i'm gonna glue it onto here and then i'll modge podge the top but it it just needs to dry i 
I'm going to use the hair dryer and I'll put some glue. This is pretty dry. I'm going to just hit it with the hair dryer. I like this um, fast grab tacky glue. I'm just going to put a little in the corners. Get it on there. This stuff is really thick. Maybe I'll use Elmer's glue. This stuff is very, very thick, but I like it because it grabs fast. I'll put some in the corners, along the edges. If you have an old credit card or gift card, or you know how sometimes they'll uh, send you the, they want you to get a credit card, so they send you like a, a thick cardboard one or plastic one, but it's not real. They work really good as spreaders. down do you see the black meets the black and it looks nice it's still a little wet but if you're doing this yourself just let it dry be patient This is still wet. Now another thing you could do is you could take a, um, a marker and do some um, Make sure this is really dry, though, before you do this, like a Sharpie. And you could do some doodles in here, like a spiral or something. These different color pens. Sharpies come in all sorts of colors now. And then you could you could write stuff here, like uh, I mean you could write a phrase 
or you could just write words that you want to think about every day. Hope. Just have a few words here in there. Joy. How about health? Health is important this year, isn't it? Health. Love. Um, faith. Family. Let's find a long one for family. You could put anything you want in here. You could outline these if you wanted to outline them. Do that. You can outline it loosely or more thoroughly. You can put initials in here. You know, like if you're married or have a boyfriend, you can put their initials or your kids' initials or your kids' names. You could be as creative with this as you want. This one isn't a Sharpie. I think it's Artist Law. Yeah, it's Artist Law. It's very nice. Permanent marker, fine point. But you could use a Sharpie. And then when this is dry, it's still wet, so I'm not going to do it right now, but you could use some... Um, if I have some. I would use the gloss Mod Podge. Well, this one's matte. <laughs> but you just want to get some Mod Podge on that. And then you could do it matte first, then you could spray it with a spray that's glossy. You know, like like this, or uh, Krylon has a clear acrylic glaze. Um, so that's what I would do. And then you can put your earrings in here. And then you have a cute way to store your earrings and they're not getting all tangled up. Well, I hope you like that project. Come back and see me at Art and Gifts. And have a wonderful day. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Bye.